All right, guys, welcome back. Eric here with IRAC Veteran 8888. You guys might remember we got in this Arex Delta L from Guns on Deals, and we alluded to, you know, maybe revisiting the video and uh, dropping an optic on and seeing how this thing works as an optics platform. Uh, so we decided to do that here today. Shoot the gun a little bit for you here. This is some Bellom 124 grain full metal jacket ammunition. All right, we'll get into this a little bit here. Have some fun. Yes, sir. <laughs> really good stuff there. Man, digging that. You know, th this gun with a red dot on it, it totally changes the feel of this gun, the way that it points and shoots. It does kind of change the vibe of this gun. And I can see why a lot of people really dig the red dot sights on handguns and stuff. Um, I do want to show you this particular red dot that I dropped on this gun. This is a Crimson Trace uh, CTS-1250. It's a 3.25 MOA uh, dot, so not freakishly large or small. It's kind of a nice medium-sized dot. Uh, this is an all-alloy constructed sight. Uh, they, they retail for like 229 bucks. So I thought that this would be a really good pairing for uh, the Arex pistol here. And I am running my wonderful TLR1 uh, HL from Streamlight. I love this weapons light. I thought we'd put that on there just to kind of uh, jazz her up a little bit here. Kind of cool. Um, on this particular optic, it uses a 1632 battery. It's a little tiny like watch battery. Uh, really, really long battery life on this particular optic. Um, they do offer, Crimson Trace does, a, a little bit lesser expensive option of this particular optic um, that's made out of polymer, uh, which we are going to be looking at in a couple of other videos we're going to be doing. But I thought this Crimson Trace would be a nice pairing for this particular gun. Uh, because the slide on the Arex is such a thin slide, uh, this is a very low profile gun, which I, I really love. And I've kind of been falling away from Glocks over the last few years and not really tending to like the Glocks quite as much. So when it comes to a striker fire gun, it kind of takes a lot to blow my skirt up. It's got to be something kind of cool or unique, or it's got to be a major departure from something that I expect to see in a striker fire gun. But I love how thin the slide is. If you look at the sight itself, you know, it does kind of protrude off the edge of the slide a bit, but that's not really just, it's not the nature of the Crimson Trace being freakishly big or anything. It's the nature of the Arex being a very slim sight. Um, so that works out quite well. Okay. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay. Yeah. I dig that quite a bit. Really cool setup. Uh, you know, I do like the interchangeable back straps on the Arex. That's a nice thing. I mean, this, this gun has just the right amount of texture. I've been trying to shoot this thing and get used to that trigger. Uh, the reset and the way the striker stages up, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but it's an extremely crisp trigger. Um, I had a couple of people reach out to me on Instagram and they were asking me what I thought about this trigger. And I guess in the first video, I didn't really talk about, you know, my thoughts on the trigger, but I really kind of treat this trigger like a, it's a very crisp Glock trigger. You know, it, it just reminds you of what you'd expect out of a Glock pistol, but I have to say, probably just a bit better. You know, the angle of the trigger, the way it breaks, uh, the break angle of the trigger, once you're at full compression of the trigger and it breaks, uh, you get this nice 90 degree angle uh, with the bore axis and the bottom of the trigger as it bottoms out. There's not a lot of over travel. And look, for this gun being in this price range, it's an acceptable trigger, very good trigger. So if I didn't mention that, I apologize uh, in that first video. Of course, we've just got the two mags here, a 17 shot, and then another 17 that's just got a flat base plate. Uh, I guess if you're wanting to conceal carry, it's kind of a nice thing to be able to do, okay? And I've been, you know, kind of curious to see how these Crimson Trace red dots will hold up. So we've been beating the heck out of them, playing around with them a bit. I think they're holding up pretty good.
You know, it's, it's one of those things like I'm not co-witnessing with the red dot and the irons on this. So I'm just using the red dot. I pick up and I just find that red dot and I start shooting and it, it really works well. So really cool, you know, and, and a good red dot on a handgun doesn't have to necessarily be something that's a, a ton of money uh, to be good. I mean, you look at, at some of the other options that have been out there for a long time, some of the Vortex offerings and uh, Burris and things like that, like something that maybe you wouldn't necessarily associate with like a top of the heap red dot sight uh, for a handgun. Crimson Trace is doing a pretty good job of, you know, coming up with something that is functional, but not gonna break the bank either. So uh, really cool setup. I'm digging the A-Rex here, a little bit more shooting here. have no problem protecting myself with this handgun at all. These things are pretty reasonably priced. Let's try some longer range shots just for fun with the red dot here. Like my shot recovery is definitely a lot quicker and I feel like I can just really get back on target and shoot more instinctively uh, with a red dot. And if you've watched any of my videos previously or you know over the years that we've done on various handguns, I've, I've had a little bit of a sort of a teething time that it's taken me to get into red dots um, you know on a handgun but I think the more you play around with them and experiment you'll find they are very useful. And I know that a lot of uh, firearms manufacturers now are making their guns uh, you know, already pre-cut for slide riders and stuff. So really cool. We know we wanted to revisit this gun and just try it with the red dot uh, just for completion sake so you guys could you know, check it out. And we thought that Crimson Trace would be something fun to drop on there. Uh, I'm gonna shoot just a couple more mags, let you guys get back to your day. I just wanted this to be kind of a quick revisit. All right, good stuff. Um, and I'm, I'm liking the fact that the A-Rexes are coming in at a really affordable price point. Um, you know, so you combine an affordable pistol with an affordable red dot, you got a nice carry option here. It might not set you back a ton of money. Good stuff. All right. A little more time, I could probably shoot this even better, but I'm definitely digging it. All right. Guys, have a good day. Thanks for tuning in here today. Uh, definitely want to take a moment to thank all of our Patreon supporters, all of you who purchased man cans, shirts over on Ballistic Inc. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, supporting what we do. Um, have a great day. Many more videos on the way. We've been filming like madmen, so we will see you soon. Catch you on the flip side.